Hey guys! So let's draw some more bugs. This time we're gonna do butterflies, moths, and maybe some dragonflies. Butterflies and moths. Well, here's a caterpillar. When a butterfly or a moth is a baby, they start out as a caterpillar. And when they hatch out of their cocoon or chrysalis, they become a butterfly or a moth. There's lots of different kinds, so that's why we are going to draw them today as their own thing because there's tons and tons of bugs and there's so many different kinds and butterflies and moths, there's a lot of different kinds of them. This one is called a blue morpho. Um, this one's called Queen Alexandra's Birdwing and this one's called Raha Brooks Birdwing. I like these ones because I cut to cop I caught them in my video game Animal Crossing. If you have that one, you can catch these bugs sometimes, and it's very fun. So let's try to draw a uh, Queen Alexandra's Birdwing real quick because I really like the shape of this one. It's a very good butterfly shape. So let's try it. First, let's just look at the shapes. I would call that an oval, I think. And so if we look close, it looks like it's one, two, three, four ovals to make up the wings. And we have another kind of, maybe it's, it's kind of lumpy to be an oval, but it's, we could still use an oval for its body. So let's do its body first. Go ahead and make yourself an oval. Okay, now super important part of butterflies and moths is that they are symmetrical. So what that means is that the left side and the right side are the same. If you put them together, they would match perfectly. So if I make a shape like this, then it has to match on the other side. If I make a little tiny wing and a big wing, that won't make sense. You have to make them match perfectly. So let's start with this oval for the top part of the wing. So we're going to go here and we're going to make an oval. Now if you look close, this one is bigger than this one, so let's try to make the littler one. So here's the part that might be tricky, is now we got to try to make the other wing, and we have to try and make a match. If it's too big and crazy or too tiny, it's not going to look like a butterfly. If it doesn't match your first try, that's okay. We'll make some more. But remember, your goal is to try and make the sides match. Let's put a little wing down here to match that little wing. Alright, this butterfly has antennas, so I'm going to go ahead and add those. Boop. Now this butterfly has a very pretty pattern on its wings, and that might be kind of tricky for us to draw. Um, it might be something you just want to do with the coloring, but I am going to go ahead and put an oval inside the bottom wings. Boop. Boop. So that will give us kind of a clue when we go to color it that this inside part is going to be colored black and these parts around it are going to be colored colorful. Blue and green and yellow. Hmm. Let's 
see. Maybe we can find some other cool butterflies to draw. I've got some more books here. Yes, wow, look at all the butterflies. Hmm. Oh, how about a dragonfly? So dragonflies and butterflies are not the same. They're very different, but dragonflies are also a pretty fun bug to draw. So I'm thinking since we're looking at a dragonfly in this book, let's go ahead and try and draw one. So fun part of drag dragonfly is that it's got a long skinny body. Okay. So let's make, hmm, let's say, we'll start right here and we'll put an oval like we like to do. Now this isn't a very big oval because I'm actually just making the middle of his body right now. So a small oval. And then I'm going to make his head. So go on top of that oval, put kind of a little circle. Okay, now let's make his long skinny tail. So we'll start at the bottom of his body, we'll go down, boop, and back up. Okay, now dragonflies also have four wings. We can make them out of ovals too, but these ovals are going to be skinnier than the butterfly wing ovals. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking about the shape before I draw it. Okay, so I'm going to start right here. Go out and back for a skinny, skinny oval. Another one. And on this side, just over right here. Remember, we're trying to make the match on both sides. The last wing, we'll start right here. Okay, and let's add some eyes on his head. we have a dragonfly. Hmm. Just for a little fun, let's add some pattern on him because I think that will help look a little more interesting. I'm going to put stripes. Now don't go crazy. Make sure the stripes stay inside the dragonfly's body. If you go too fast, the stripes will peek out the edges and we don't want that. Awesome! A dragonfly! Let's see what else we've got in our book here. Oh, I didn't mention, remember when we talked about insects the other day? We talked about how they have six legs. This dragonfly has six legs too, and the butterfly we drew did too, but we just couldn't see them. One, two, three, four, five, six. But some, I'm not going to add them to my picture because sometimes they're hidden underneath their body. Let's see. Ooh, this butterfly has camouflage. So it kind of looks like leaves. Or bark on a tree, maybe. 
and this spot kind of looks like an eye. These are things to help it hide from predators or to scare predators away. Predators are things that might want to eat it up. Hmm, should we draw a caterpillar? What kind should we draw? Some of these are very complicated. So confusing. This one's going in a chrysalis so that it be can become a butterfly. Oh, and there's some chrysalis right here. Sometimes they make cocoons and sometimes they turn into chrysalis. Hmm. And there's the butterfly coming out. Alright, let's see. What's the easy? Well, how about this guy? <laughs> He's up there in black and white, but I like his shape. So let's try to make a caterpillar like this little guy doing a little inch dance. <laughs> so what we're going to do for that is make a hill. We'll start here. We'll go up and down. That was kind of fun. Okay, and then we're going to go on the end and go boop. Make his little head. We'll go on the other end and go boop to make his little tail. Now this part's tricky. We're going to make his body. And sometimes it's hard to do to make it look right. So what you have to do is you start right here. And then you follow the hill you made exactly. See how I'm following it? I'm not letting it get any bigger or smaller. I'm just following the hill. So now we have kind of this worm shape that caterpillars have. All right, now caterpillars they're a little tricky because they actually have more than six legs, but only some of those legs are part of their real body that gets to be there when they become a butterfly. I know it's kind of confusing. So these legs in the front that are one, two, three, four, five, six legs, those are its real legs. And these ones are little extra legs that they have when they have their little caterpillar body. So all that to say, we can add some little legs. And they can be more than six because these ones all go away after it becomes a butterfly. Okay, on his head, I'm just going to draw one eye because if we're looking at the side of an animal, we don't get to see both its eyes. Like we see here, we only see one of his eyes, the other eye is on the other side of his head, because we're looking at the side of him, not the front of him. Um, I'm gonna give him a little smile though. I know that's kind of cartoony, but I think it's cute for this caterpillar. And then you can add all kinds of cool patterns to it. I'm going to put, I think I'll put some spots on mine. Alright, let's keep looking at our book. We saw them come out. Wow. That's a pretty butterfly. All different sh kinds and shapes. Very cool. Ooh, look at this one. I like the points that come off from its wings. We'll have to make one with some kind of weird shaped wings. Ooh, maybe this one? It's got like a little, looks like a drop coming from his wing. 
Oh, look at this one's got points again. Look at all the different shapes. Oh, this one definitely looks like leaves. Look at that camouflage. Well, maybe we should make one that has eye spots. Hmm. There's so many options. Let's keep looking through. Oh. These ones are very pretty. This is a Luna Moth. It comes out at night. Look at its little feelers. Okay, so we've been talking about antennas on the bugs' heads. These are the antennas on these bugs. They look like little feathers. Oh wait, I've got the perfect thing to show you. Check this out. Dun, dun. Look at this picture of a moth. So this book is bugs, but it's zoomed in bugs so we get to see them super up close and they look crazy but do you see the antennas that look like feathers isn't that weird here's another one you can see a little better look at these antennas look how fuzzy he looks i love it mm -hmm. Oh, this one's about, this is about their cocoons. The ones that build cocoons. Oh, look at that fuzzy, fuzzy cocoon. This is a silk moth cocoon. They, people t can take these threads they use to make their cocoon and they make it into fabric. Look, they weave it into fabric for clothes. Wow, look at this guy. Oh, this one says that this part can break off if it gets attacked. So if something's trying to eat it and it grabs onto this little part of its wing, the tail part, it can just break off and not hurt the, the moth. Oh, this one's very pretty. Again. Bum -bum. Look at this guy. Oh, you know what else that reminds me of? So I showed you the big book. Oof. Watch this. Duh. Look at this moth. This is the largest moth in the world. It's a picture of it. It's called an atlas moth. Now, this is bigger than it is in real life. But it's still pretty big. It's about 12 inches in real life. So, hmm, you know how big a ruler is? That's how big an atlas moth can be, which is pretty big. Okay, let's, let's draw another one. We've been looking for long enough. Huh? Which one shall we draw? Let's do one with the crazy, the crazy tail. Yeah, let's do this guy. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to put him here. If you run out of space, remember you can draw small. You don't have to draw super giant like in the book. And that's what I'm going to do. So first, he's got a very oval body. So let's go for that. Now this guy, his wings, I do not think I would call them ovals. Hmm, they're kind of almost a triangle shape. A triangle that's not pointy on the ends. See, it goes up, down, across. Up, down, across, up, down, across. So let's try that out. We'll go, start right here. And we'll go up, and down, and across. Let's try to match it on the other side. Up, down, across. Up, down, across. So we'll start right here. 
and we're trying to match. So we're going to start there and go up, down, across. Okay, here's the fun part. We get to go way down. So I'm going to go as far as I can until I almost go off the page. Start right here. And go down. Now the next part might be a little tricky. We have to make this part skinny. So when we come back up, we have to go right close and then finish the wing. All right, let's try the other side. Start right here. Way down. Oh, and remember those crazy antennas? Let's make it look like regular antennas first. Boop, boop. But then make these antennas fuzzy by putting lines on them. And look, this one has those eye spots we talked about. It has one, two, three, four. Let's go ahead and add those. One, two, three, four. 